Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today we're going to work on continuing to help new content creators get better production value out of their equipment that they have for free. In the first video, we focused on webcam. We focused on getting you some sort of video. Let's say you don't have a webcam. We're going to hook you up with something that's going to make it so you have a webcam and a decent one at that. And in the same spirit, we're going to focus on audio. So if you're in a situation where you just have a basic Turtle Beach headset or you have some you know, cheap little USB mic that you got for 20 bucks or 30 bucks on Amazon. We're going to help you take that to the next level, make it sound better for free. So we're going to do a couple of things here, guys. So firstly, we're going to download some plugins and we're going to do some Windows adjustments. So a really important thing I found, because just like all my other videos, I just do a ton of research. I go through, I watch tons of content from other creators. I figure out what everyone else is doing to kind of make this work. This information is out there. I'm not like creating this stuff from scratch. But the again, the idea behind the channel is I'm a brand new content creator along with you guys. Or you may be more experienced than me, but you're just kind of looking at some of the stuff to help improve your stream or your recordings, whatever it might be. I'm going around, I'm finding the information, I'm applying it, and I'm seeing how useful it is. I'm seeing if it really adds value to the production of our content. So I cruised around through multiple different videos. I probably spent, again, it seems like every section of the, I spent about two hours or so watching videos alone. And then I spent another, I don't know, forever, couple of hours at least, um, tweaking the settings, trying it myself, seeing if it actually works, seeing if I see a noticeable improvement, if it adds the value that we're looking for. Um, at the budget we're looking at, which is free or near free. Um, I, my, my plan is for at least each of these different programs we go through that we're going to spend at, like, at most like 50 bucks to increase the overall production of that quality, of whatever that section is. So we started with the cam. That was free. That was awesome. We're on to mic. We're going to do this one for free too. The caveat is you have some sort of mic already, whether it's a headset mic, your own standalone USB mic, Something along those lines. But we're going to apply a couple of really cool um, things into our recording software. So whether it's OBS or XSplit or whatever, we're going to use OBS because that's the most common by far. Um, and we're going to apply some plugins. So firstly, we're going to go over to a website, a specific website. And we're going to download that content. And we're going to use that to make our stream sound so much better. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to jump over to a website I will link down in the description. It's called reaper.fm slash REA plugs. So what this is, it's a Reaper plugin system. And you're going to either select either 32-bit or 64-bit, depending on which Windows type you have. Most people are 64-bit, but there are some laptops and things like that that run 32-bit that might be possible. You're going to quick download these plugins, run through the little wizard, you know, the little installer wizard like always. And then we're actually going to jump directly into OBS from here. So we're going to go in. We're going to go straight to our mic settings. So let's go ahead and make this full screen. We're going to pop open our mic settings. So sorry for the, you know, infinite look here. But just focus on the bottom section here where my mouse is. Um, and you're going to go ahead and click settings. We're going to go to filters. And we're going to have a list of available filters here. So I actually left mine on initially. Um, I see a lot of them where they turn them off and then they add them and they turn them back off. Um, I wanted to leave it on so you guys, firstly, get the best quality that I can give you while we're going through this. Or not the best, but like what I've at least tweaked it to. Um, and then we're actually going to shut them off. I'm going to show you how they work and then we're going to turn them back on. So you're only going to have a smaller window of the more cringy, awful audio in comparison. But before we actually mess with these plugins, now that we're in the screen, we're ready to go. We're actually going to jump down to our search bar and we're going to go ahead and search our sound settings. So we're going to open those up just like so. Let me bring this over also. Plop it right here in front. And you're going to immediately be open to this page here on a Windows system. Um, we're going to focus down here on the input section. So we have choose your input device, things like that. Uh, mine's my JLab microphone. Mine's a USB 3 microphone. Um, with some cool little features, I can tweak it. I can change the different um, audio in, like audio directional things like that. Um, but we're not going to focus on that right now. What we're going to do is we're actually going to go straight to device properties. We're going to open this up, and right here is going to be the output volume of your mic. So this is the maximum volume your mic is allowed to output. At 
it can utilize the maximum amount that the mic offers. But we're actually going to bring that down. So what this is going to do, by bringing this down between 80 and 90, you can just do 85 if you just want to set it real quick and move on. Um, we're going to bring this down and allow us to not have to worry about those breaks. When you go too high, when your mic gets too big, it starts popping, breaking, you get those you get those overwhelming sounds, you know, that's where you get the rip, rip headphones, things like that. It's going to help a lot with that because I'm not allowed to peak my mic at this point. I can't peak it because it's only allowed to access 80% of its overall input. So that's where we're going to start, quick and easy. It's going to help bring that peak down, just save you a little bit of trouble right off the bat. You can go ahead and close that out. Now we're going to pop back into our plugins here. So it's actually pretty simple. Um, now that we're in the filters, again, we're in the settings. Filters, that'll pull up this, that'll pull up this section right here. We're going to go ahead and add, and we're going to have access to these VST plugins now. So we're going to add a new plugin here just to show you how it works. You can name it whatever you want. Um, we're going to get a compressor, a noise gate, and then an equalizer. Those are going to be the three things that we're going to need. So um, I start with compressor. I finish with EQ because that's going to be our most noticeable difference, whereas compressor and, and gate are going to be more of a a sound container, which I'll explain to you and I'll show you here in a minute. So go ahead and name this whatever you want. So you can name it compressor. Boom. And then we're actually gonna go ahead and we're gonna select which plugin we want to use. So I actually downloaded two different plugins. I much preferred the Reaper. Most people use the Reaper, but there's also a Marvel version. I don't know if copyright or whatever, but it's called Marvel, just like Marvel. Um, and they have their own versions. They weren't as user friendly for me, so I tried the Reaper also. Um, and we're just going to simply select Reaper Comp. So we're going to pick the REA Comp. That's for the compressor. And then we're going to open the plugin. I'm actually going to disable this one and just show you my current one. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and hit the open plugin section here. And this is going to show you a couple of things. So this is going to this is going to stop my voice from going too high. So no matter how loud I talk, my mic will only get so loud. It'll cut the audio off at a certain decibel level. So I can keep getting louder and louder and louder and louder and louder and louder, but I'm never going to hit, like if you look over here on the right, I'm never going to hit that 12, the 12 mark. It just won't get there because it's, it's designed to stop me from getting too loud. So if I were to scream my guts out, it wouldn't blow your, head, blow your headset up. So similar to kind of how the, the input setting did in... Um, windows that reduce the overall mic to stop us from peaking the mic. This is going to stop us from getting way too loud. So you, I wouldn't peak my mic because I brought that down, but I can still scream so loud that it blows your eardrums. <laughs> this will stop me from being able to do that. You only hear so much noise from me at this point. And that's what this is going to focus on. We're also going to focus on this portion right here called ratio. This is, again, going to help compress that voice. It's going to help bring it in. So it's going to smooth it out. It's just going to help overall. The universal ratio is four to one. Everyone sets it to four to one. Um, I, there was one video I said, a guy said you could do five to one, but everyone just does four to one. So to set that to four to one, we don't have to worry about like the pre-comp attack and release in any of these we're going to look at. Um, your attack, what that actually does, just so you know if you want to play around with this, the attack is what opens up um, that gate. So when I start talking, it's how quickly does the mic respond to that. And we have a set to three milliseconds right now, which is, you know, three thousandths of a, of a second, which is very small. Um, so you can leave it that way. And then release is the opposite. So how quickly does that gate close after I stop talking? So how quickly does it stop um, compressing it after I stop talking? And this is set to 100 milliseconds, which is still one-tenth of a second. Super short time. We're good to go there. You want to bring your ratio up to four. Play around with this bar right here. This is what we're going to focus on in this section. You're going to focus on bringing this up and down. Um, I really like it right about here. Uh, when, I, when I speak, when I speak with a loud voice, I barely go over this mount. So you want to take this bar, move it to wherever your normal voice is, put it a little above that. So if you do get excited and you do talk louder, it will pick up the extra tone. People will know you're being louder than normal. Um, but like if you can see, like this is my normal talking voice. I'm kind of hitting the bottom of that bar. It's not very loud. This is just how I normally talk. Like, hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the channel. We're having a great time. Let's do this thing. And if I want to get a little louder, it gives me a little extra room. That's all it works. So just pick a, pick a notch a little above where you want to be. If you're one of those person, people that likes to like get really animated and like yell and you want your, you know, your viewers to get that, set it higher. Give yourself more room for that compression. 
That's simple. That's all we need to do for compression there. Next, we're going to focus on gate. So we're going to go ahead and open this plug. We're going to set, it, set up another one. Boom. VST plugin. We're going to name this one gate. You can name it noise gate if you want, but that's what it is. But we're going to call it gate. Oh, well, I can't because it's already set up. We're going to call it gate one. We'll do it that way. We're going to shut it off because we don't need it. But And then we're going to go ahead and open that up. Select what we're going to focus on here. Similar to we did the recomp for compressor, we're going to do regate. So you're going to select regate. And then you go ahead and open that plugin. And it's going to be the opposite. So what this is, is you want to just be quiet. Don't make any noise for a minute. And you're going to focus on where that ambient sound works. All the sound that comes in around you, basic audio. And you want to keep that below the bar. So I'm going to be really quiet and just kind of show you here. You'll see the ambient sound and you'll see um, where the bar falls. So you can see that ambient sound is falling below that bar, and I can actually even lower mine a little bit. So let's let's stop again, and you'll see that there's a quite a, there's quite a gap there yet. So the actual reason I did that is for keystrokes. So when I stroke a key here, you'll see that that bar will jump up. So I left a little bit more to help with that. So right now, only really light presses are being missed, um, and the and the harder presses, like if I quick jump from one side to the other, it's picking that up. So I actually raised my bar up even a little bit more than that, so that I could separate a little more of that keystroke noise. And my mic's in a slightly different spot than it normally is. I've been a little further away from me when I do my um, content versus my recordings. Um, so like now that I'm recording, my mic is back up actually about another eight inches further away. It's about a foot and a half from me. I usually have it about eight or ten inches from me when I'm streaming. So it's a little different, but I'll show you here. Um, when I raise the bar back up, I'll make some more keystrokes, and you'll notice that less, if any, of them will make it through. See, I made like 13 keystrokes. Only two of them made it through, and that's because I did a quick jump to the other one. But it's still loud enough where you see my voice. My voice is leveling off right about here pretty normally. So I won't have any issues with my voice falling off. In this case, though, I am going to actually recommend to lower your attack down because I have seen it where even though my voice is above this, for that split second I stop, that gate closes, and then it opens back up quickly, I miss just tiny little fractions of my voice. So I'm actually going to bring my attack down to that one millisecond mark. So it's even a little more agile. It even opens a little bit quicker. That's about it. So you'll adjust this up and down. Uh, mine works really well at 35.9. I could probably make it 36 even if I wanted, but in this case, we're not trying to be, we don't need to be super precise. We just need to make it so it's high enough that the low sounds, the hummings, the, you know, you, when your vent turns on in your bedroom, so it's blowing air, or, you know, when you're keystroking, things like that, those things are missed or mostly missed so that when you're not talking, you have this nice empty sound. So that's the goal here with the gate. So we're going to go ahead and move on from the gate to um, our next part, which is the most complicated. It's going to involve the most work, and that's your equalizer. So again, just like before, we'll go down here. We're going to add another plugin. We're going to add this one. We're going to call it the. I'm going to call it the. E, I'm going to call it the EQU, just because I already have an EQ. Um, and this is going to be our equalizer. Go down here, we're going to look for re-EQ right here, select it, and now that's set up. And then all we have to do is open that plugin. So mine's already customized, it's already set up to something I like a lot. I have a decently deep voice, it's not super deep by any means, but it's a very mid, like a mid to lower voice most of the time. And you can see that kind of relayed here where this side's your highs, this is going to be your peaks, like your you know early screams. And this is going to be your deep, like, you know, corpse husband voice is way down here. <laughs> and I'm kind of right in this section is where most of my audio comes in. So it's on the slightly deeper mid end. Um, but my mic specifically for me is different than your mic for you. So it's going to do things differently. It's going to impact the sound of your voice differently. My mic produces a very crisp sound. So it even takes my voice and it makes it hot. It makes it more crisp, more sharp. 
Um, so it adds a little bit of height to it, and it takes away from, from the depth of my voice. So what I do here is I just, I actually did a couple things. I took a couple of tips from a few different videos in this section. I did a lot around this section, um, including added an additional band, which I'll show you in a minute. But a really good tip I saw is there's, there are actually um, more bands right here where you can change. You want your, you know, your super high highs to be really high. You can raise this up like this. Um, but a really good recommendation was, like, those super high highs and those super low lows, if you actually drop these off to the end, it'll kind of cut those out. So if there, for some reason, was, like, nails on a chalkboard, that audio would be cut, pretty much cut out completely because it dropped that band way down. Or if there's, like, big booming, like, large thunder or, like, someone stomping around above you, some of those deeper deeps would be cut out, too. So it's kind of nice for that. Helps with the balancing a little bit. Um, and then I focused around the the kind of the wave of my voice here so it kind of starts up here and it kind of goes down 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 and i wanted to bring a little more depth to my voice so i actually raised up my bands here so you start with just the four bands one two three and four um i added a fifth band here to help balance this so if i actually go ahead and delete this band this is what it would normally look like so it drops up and it dips back down but as you can see based on my voice on the curve here it doesn't really match well so I wanted to have it follow the curve of my voice to be more fluid throughout. So I added an additional band, which is super simple. Just add band. I set this band right about here so that I have this general. So as my voice gets higher, it becomes a little higher. And as my kind of normal, my kind of more normal speaking voice stays pretty well mid. But you want it to drop back off. You don't want your whole voice, no matter what tone you're at, to be like this deeper booming. You want volume to your voice. So this is kind of give you more of a radio voice style. It's going to add some depth, a little bit of boom to your voice in comparison to what your mic might normally do. Now, if you're someone with a really deep voice in comparison, you might want to bring these down. And you're going to notice this as I start lowering this. My voice is going to switch from a kind of deeper to a higher. It's going to catch more of that crispy, more of that sharp volume. And we don't, I don't want that personally. You might want that. And that's what I said. This, this part is not complicated by any means. But it takes a lot more time and a lot more effort to kind of normalize. Like, it's probably going to take me another 15 minutes now because I've been screwing around with this to get this back exactly the way I want it. So that's the general idea. This is what you're going to get with EQ. This is going to be the part that adds the quality to your voice. So a quick recap again here. We have compressor. That's going to stop your voice from going too much, too high. It's going to keep it compressed. It's going to keep it focused. The gate's going to stop you from picking up all that ambient noise, um, all the crap you don't want to hear. You know, you don't want to hear your dog, you know, itching himself, scratching himself on the floor over next to you. You don't want to hear your heaters going off. You don't want to hear all that stuff. So it's going to help block out that noise. It's going to help the keystrokes, things like that. And then EQ is going to be the quality. That's going to be the depth, the flavor to your voice. You want that more radio voice? Make it happen. You want that, you know, higher voice? You want to be really crisp? You want to be really sharp with your voice? Go ahead and make it happen. You play around with it. Spend as much time as you need. But now I'm going to wrap up this video for the most part. I'm not going to end it completely like this. But you've had a chance to hear my mic um, decently adjusted. This wasn't crazy. I didn't spend five hours setting this up. I spent about 20, 30 minutes going through playing around with this stuff, kind of getting it where I liked it. Um, so spend as much time as you want. I'm going to shut all these off right now, and then I'm going to come back to you. And we're going to just have a nice little chat for a minute. You can hear what my mic sounds like naturally in comparison. So this is my mic all by itself. It's not so crazy different that your mind's exploding right now. Um, and it will be a big difference. I want you to know right now, put headphones on. If you're listening on your phone, this is going to do nothing for you. <laughs> or if you're listening through the audio on your monitor, it's going to do nothing for you. You need something with a little bit of quality, plug in some earbuds, put on your headset. You'll notice the big differences. I got super confused because I watched several of the videos on my phone. Uh, like two or three videos. A lot of them are pretty short, eight, nine, ten minutes. So I was able to knock out a few of them in a pretty quick amount of time. Um, but I'm like, I don't really get it. I don't really get it. So then I eventually actually put I have some Samsung Buds. So I actually put my Buds in and I turned around and I was like, oh, okay, this makes a lot more sense because the quality of the audio your phone outputs may not be bad, but it doesn't have a lot of depth. It doesn't have a lot of volume. And that's what we're looking for. So plug some headphones in, put on your headset, and then watch this video. <laughs> if you need to start it over, start it over. But this is what you're getting from nothing. This is just a stock mic. This mic did cost me like 85 bucks. Um, no, no, I think I paid like 90 bucks for it. It's usually 100 bucks. I got a little bit off. Um, I bought it at Best Buy actually. So it's a J Labs mic. They have a new lineup of mics. 
they've been in the audio game for a long time, but this is their first like real step into audio input. It's usually audio output, like J Labs headphones, things like that. They have a fifty dollar, hundred dollar, and one hundred fifty dollar version. So there's kind of something for each budget there. So definitely take a look. Go to your local Best Buy. I like it quite a bit. Again, it has multi functions. I can change the audio range. I can change the gain on it. I can mute it just by pushing a button. It's got some cool features. I definitely recommend it. I have the $100 version. So this is what you're getting normal. And actually, if I'm really quiet, I have a vent going. So you might even be able to hear the ambient sound. So I'm going to stop for a second. You might not because it's not super loud, but we'll see. So you're actually picking up some ambient room noise. And that's not the best thing in the world. You don't want that. So we're actually going to go ahead and switch back to the normal now. And you're going to get my enhanced, better version in comparison. So now I'm back. This is a lot more similar to what I'd like. This is a lot more similar to what I'm interested in. Um, if you want to go back, you can jump back 30 seconds, watch it back up. You can kind of mix and match and see the difference. It's going to add a lot of flavor to your mic. It's going to add a lot of, again, quality to the production that we're making. We're focused on taking a brand new YouTube channel with nothing to something. We're going to focus a lot on the production value. Your content is your content. I've kind of made this part of my content. It's going to end up being just like a mini series in the creation of my, my channel. Once I'm pretty happy with kind of where everything's at, obviously I'm not going to focus on this stuff too much. But again, we're chronicling kind of the creation of a new YouTube channel. How easy is it to find the content? How effective is the content um, at helping us build our channel with little to nothing or almost nothing? Um, in the next video, we're going to focus on lighting. I did spend a little bit of money, very small, and I mean little, I mean I think I spent like 30 bucks to do some lighting, and I want you guys to stick around, to check that one out with the next one. It's, I think it's going to be really cool. I really liked it. It was fun making, kind of setting some stuff up, watching a lot of content around those. I spent tons of time on uh, watching videos for that one. So I'll catch you guys in the next one where we're going to focus on lighting.